Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and we're gonna get into today Prolo versus PRP, because this is a super common question that I get. So which is better, and really, which is better for whom and which specific problem? So Prolo and PRP are very different products. Uh, their mechanism of action is quite different. For Prolo, Prolo is a solution that's injected to uh, cause a brief inflammatory reaction and it works by killing off the local cells and causing that swelling, which then is almost like debriding a non-healing wound. PRP uh, has growth factors and exosomes that release over about a week or so to stimulate repair. So they're very, very different. So again, if we look at this, we can see that prolotherapy is causing damage and that kicks off a healing cycle, whereas PRP is stimulating healing based on dose. So a common question I get is prolo or PRP better? And that really breaks down to for which type of patients, do you have normal ligaments or are you hypermobile? And for which type of problem, ligament versus joint? So for which type of patients, and normal ligament patients, uh, they have a different type of matrix than hypermobile EDS patients. And hypermobile patients have more stretchy collagen, more elastin, different ratios. So if we get into for which type of patients, and we're talking about ligament injury, for normal ligament patients, PRP generally beats Prolo because you can adjust that dose and it has a superior mechanism of action. But when it comes to hypermobile patients, we tend to see that Prolo performs a bit better probably because of that inflammatory healing reaction, which then causes a shift in those collagen and elastin ratios. Now, how about joint injury or arthritis? Well, here PRP beats Prolo hands down for all patient types, and that's because you can adjust the dose of the growth factors, which can help with cartilage repair or protection. And realize that PRP is very dose dependent. So that means that if you've got the average PRP in the average clinic, it's pretty low dose. That's gonna be a problem if you're over age 35. Better machines can get a bit higher dose, um, but we really use an on-site lab at Regenix to get that dose much, much higher, which is much better for older patients. So in summary, PRP usually beats Prolo. The one caveat is for ligament tightening and hypermobile patients. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.